Hey guys, so this video is gonna be about this uh, Samsung fridge that I bought from Lowe's and this was their last uh, display model so I bought it and it, as you can see it has um, all the deals and stickers from uh, Lowe's, the Black Friday and then a Samsung advertisement and so on. So um, I d uh, bought it for that price right there and it has the two colors. Uh, stainless steel and the black stainless steel and then it comes with this too so you can see that right there um, but the problem is that it has stickers all kinds of stickers and that's gonna be bad so like this right here I haven't done anything but you can hear it right there this one right here so I'm gonna be showing you in this video how to remove the sticker residue without, it's gonna leave the uh, fridge the way it should be. So we have another label over here, which that one's coming off easy, but we'll see. And then this one right here, we have the promotion from the manufacturer. But as you can see, I can remove this, but it's gonna leave the adhesive residue. And in order to do all that, we're gonna be using virgin olive oil, which you can get any kind, any brand, doesn't really matter. Um, and then at the end, I'm gonna show you, uh, if I have time, specs on the fridge, if you're interested on this fridge, and uh, I'll show you the inside and the features of this fridge. All right. Alrighty, so we are going to be removing the items. Oh, and look, this has another sticker there, so remove that. And this came with the fridge, so we'll put that in there. Then over here, we need to take this out. Okay, uh, was it right here? But I did leave the sticker on the top, which is right there. So, wait, there's no recipe, is it? Yeah, right here. All right, so we'll be cleaning all that. Then we move on to here. Yay, residue adhesive. And then here, this will be a complicated one. Cool. All right, so let's get started. We'll be removing all the adhesive. All right, so we got the uh, olive oil right here that we're gonna be using. And you just need like a regular paper towel and then something so that it pours. And we're gonna pour it. So just a generous amount. You don't need that much, but I'm gonna use this because I'm gonna show you at the end how to uh, use this to clean the fridge uh, completely and give it that shiny uh, look. Alrighty. So once you have your oil in here, all you wanna do is just dab it on the, uh, what do you call it? The stickers. And then let it sit there for a few minutes. I'm gonna do this one, I already did them just to Put it in there, make it easier. And then apply as much as needed and then let it sit there. And we're gonna do, we're gonna grab like a spatula, plastic spatula and then scrape it. Not a metal one, cause you don't wanna damage the uh, fridge. All right guys, so it's been a couple minutes that I put the olive oil in there. Uh, so now the other thing you're gonna need is two things. You're gonna need a uh, blow dryer and you're gonna need a spatula. You don't want to use the plastic spatula. You don't want to use a metal spatula because it's going to um, damage the fridge and leave scratches. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use the blow dryer to put hot air on the fridge where the adhesive is for like a minute or so. And then I'm going to start scraping it with the uh, spatula. So let's get started. Let me see.
So yeah, so it came off easily with the heat, but if you do it over here on the side that I haven't done, if I put pressure on it, it takes a little bit, not the entire thing. So the heat uh, on the blow dryer does work. So just keep doing the rest. Uh... Keep doing the rest and I'm going to do it on the end and I will show you the end of the, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, the part, I'm going to show you right now what it looks like. So, um, all that soil obviously, but right there is like where it took all the residue. You can still see it, but I'm going to go behind and do it later. And then this I haven't gone to, and then the other one is this right here. That. So, I will be back to finish this. All right guys, so we are done removing all the adhesive. As you can see, there's no adhesive left there. Everything's good to go. On this side is good, minor smudge there. I don't know what that is, it's probably a scratch. Yeah, it's a scratch. Uh, but yeah, so pretty much you wanna use uh, the um, olive oil and uh, the hot air from the blow dryer, which is going to cause the adhesive to loosen up, and then a uh, plastic spatula so you can remove it. Uh, but that's about it, guys. Uh, I guess I could show you the inside of the fridge. So that's what the fridge looks like. Very spacious. It has all kinds of features. And then we have the bottom drawer. So it has that, and then it has another drawer at the bottom. So, pretty spacious. And it has the uh, twin cooling, so good fridge, good price, good deal. Uh, display with adhesive issues, but it is what it is and it's good to go. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna leave the link at the bottom of the video if you guys want to check out the actual, the specs and depth. Oh, and one last thing. Um, in order to have that shiny finish look on the fridge, you can't really see it on the camera, but what you do is you grab a, a napkin or a towel, put olive oil, and then clean the entire fridge the way the ridges are going. So in this fridge, the ridges are going, you know, horizontally. So when you do that, it gives it a shine without having the need to use like an actual chemical or product to make the, uh, the fridge look shiny. And you can do this like, I don't know, it depends really, like once a month. Like if you have uh, people touching the fridge, they leave smudges. So using the olive oil on it will get rid of these smudges and give it the uh, shiny brand new look. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Thank you. Oh, and uh, I'll leave the uh, specs, the link to the fridge at the bottom of the video. So you guys can see more of the features on this fridge. Thank you.